Hi folks, Ross here from Open Airway. I'm in the UCT Anesthesia Airway Skills Lab and I want to go over in this short video the Difficult Airway Society's 2015 Guidelines Surgical Airway Technique. Now I'm not going to go into the debate about needle versus surgical uh, cricothyroidotomy. I'm also not going to go into the debate about scalpel finger bougie, scalpel bougie tube. I'm just going to demonstrate the DAS technique on this mannequin. So obviously, we're going to be in a con intubate, con oxygenate scenario. We're going to have trial or other options and recognize that we're unable to oxygenate this patient without going to front of neck access. The equipment that I need for this procedure is I'm going to need a scalpel. DAS recommend a size 10 blade, but use what you have immediately at hand. I'm going to need a, a bougie. You want a coudet tipped bougie and preferably a hollow core bougie if you've got it so that you can oxygenate uh, as an intermediate step if necessary. And you want a size 6 standard endotracheal tube immediately at hand. Right, so to do, perform the technique, we are going to do the laryngeal handshake. Feel the larynx and make sure that we've got the cartilages in our fingers. Feel down in the midline with my finger and identify the thyroid and cricoid cartilages and the cricothyroid membrane. If I cannot feel the cartilages clearly at this stage because of a patient with a thick edematous or, or a fat neck, I'm going to make a vertical incision in the midline and blunt dissect with my fingers until I can feel the cartilages. If I can immediately feel the cartilages, I'm going to make a vertical stab incision through the cricothyroid membrane. Remember that you want to do this vertically so that you have got the wide, broad cartilages part of the cricoid behind the tip of the blade. I'm then going to turn the blade sideways. Now at this stage, I like to work with my dominant hand. I'm going to swap hands and using the tip of the bougie, I'm going to pass it down the trachea and it should move freely. I can now remove my scalpel and make it safe. Confirm that my bougie is moving freely. If I've got a hollow core bougie, I can already oxygenate at this stage. Otherwise, I'm going to connect and railroad my size 6 tube with a slight screwing motion if I have to to get it to go in, just until it's into the trachea. Out comes my bougie and now I can connect and oxygenate the patient and inflate the cuff, etc. So, that is the Difficult Airway Society's 2015 guidelines on performing a surgical cricothyroidotomy.